everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new today i'm going to be showing you how to use the selection tool in medbang paint so the selection tool is also known as the lasso in abyss paint but this is how it's going to work in medibang so firstly i'm going to go into my layers menu here and get rid of these things that i've used for the video and then make myself a new layer so the selection tool is going to need something to select firstly and then you can alter what has been selected. So for example, let's just do this little heart here. You'll see the selection tool up on this top bar. There are a few different selection tools. There is this tool here and this tool here. This one has a few different modes. The first one is a square, so it will make an automatic square, and inside the area is what will be selected. The second one is an oval, which does essentially the same thing, but just with a circle. The third one is a funky trapezoid, and it does the same one, but you can sort of design where the lines go. The last one, which is my personal favourite, is the free draw one, where you just get to make your own area, and inside that area everything will be selected. There is another way to use this selection tool, which is this right here, which essentially lets you draw, and wherever you have drawn on will be the area selected. Then once you've done that, to actually do something with the selected area, you're going to want to go here, and this will let you do a couple things with it. There's also this option by here, but we'll mess around with that in a minute. By here, it lets you copy, cut, and paste. Copy will essentially just copy whatever has been inside the selection area. And then to make it appear again, as a duplicate, you can just go back there and press paste. And then it will be pasted. As a separate layer, as you can see here, we start out on this layer here. But when I pasted, it became this layer. The next thing you can do is cut, which just lets you copy something, but it also takes it away from the original layer and stores it on your clipboard. Like that. The next thing you can do is paste, which pastes the last thing that you've cut. By here, the options are a bit different. You have select all, which will just select the entire canvas. Deselect, which just gets rid of the selected area so you can do things normally again. Inverse selection does that and selects everything but what you selected. So it is just inverting the selection. Then we have select portion. That lets you select a portion of what has been selected again. Then you have zoom in or zoom out, which just lets you zoom in the thing you have selected or zoom it out. You can use these little squares to shift them about though. And on the ones on the side, you can squeeze them. And at the bottom or the top, you can squeeze them down too. Once you're done with that, you can either click cancel or set. I'm going to click cancel because I don't want to keep those changes. The next one that we have here is the free transform which essentially just lets you shift with this perspective. This is honestly a really tricky thing to get used to and I still can't quite work it properly. So I definitely recommend having a look around and trying to figure this out. Then you have mesh transform. You select your partition numbers and then it lets you transform with each mesh, dragging the squares around to manipulate the thing inside it. The last option there is create boundary. You can select how wide you want your boundary to be. If you want to be outside or inside, I'm just going to click with on boundary. Then click OK. And you can see it has made a colored boundary here. Also, once you've selected something, if you go here, then you can move it around as you want. The last thing here is using the selection tool and then using this. This has the same way of working as the drawing selection tool that I showed you earlier. 
But with this one, it erases what you've drawn on the selection tool to make that those erased areas unselected. That is how you use the selection tool in Medibang Paint. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, maybe consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. Thank you for watching.